Let's bring in a former Trump official who negotiated with the Taliban and worked on the Abraham Accords peace deal, Adam Bowler. Mr. Bowler, thank you for coming in, sir. We very much appreciate this. I want to play this soundbite. This is Missouri GOP Congressman Mark Alford, and then I'll get your response on the other side. Watch. When you have two powers like that align that have evil desires that want to, I think, dominate and change the world's structure, it's definitely a problem. And it does seem, sir, like we are kind of sitting back and letting President, President Xi and Putin kind of set the tone here. Your thoughts? Uh, I agree with the congressman and what you said, Trace, which is right now for Xi, it's a global stage to showcase kind of an era of Chinese diplomacy. And so at the end of the day, my agency, my job was to counter China's Belt and Road Initiative. Um, and what you see here is China filling a void, and it's a void that's been left. It started with the Middle East what happened in Afghanistan. Uh, you saw Chinese move uh, with Middle East, uh, with the Saudis and with Iran, and now it's continuing uh, today and yesterday um, in Russia. Yeah. Uh, General Keith Kellogg said this today. I thought it was interesting. I think this war is going to have to end by negotiation. So somebody's got to be the interlocutor, and I hope it's not China, but they're sure putting themselves out front. Yeah, right now, China is putting itself up front, but, but Ukraine says this peace deal is a non-starter. And a lot of critics say this thing is just missing a lot of key information. Well, if you look at the 12-point peace proposal from China, it reads uh, pretty general. Uh, it's all nice, by the way, but it's kind of the, akin to saying everybody like kittens and babies. Uh, so you read, the, you read the 12 points. There's nothing to argue with. It's very general. It shows to me that there's not that much hope of China pressuring uh, Russia into a peace deal. I will say at the same time, though, there is some shared interest in between the United States and China here. And the way I think of China is you've got somebody that likes pre-planning everything uh, and they don't like yeah. volatility. Uh, so think of them as the adult in the room and Putin's kind of the teenager. Uh, so there is some shared interest in this case, uh, but I don't think roping in Putin's going to be that easy to do here. What do you make of this of this new relationship between China and Russia? Maybe it's not new, but you had John Kirby today saying it. You know, it's not really it's a marriage of of convenience. And I'm wondering what you think, because it's not just in Ukraine. We're talking about in space and in energy and in diplomacy. They seem to be teaming up more and more. And a lot of generals are very concerned about that. So what you see here is really China countering the United States, right? And it continued. I mean, this is the real rivalry that's coming across. It's really Putin. It's a, a sideshow. At the end of the day, they're the real competition. And so the interesting thing about yesterday and today isn't what you saw on TV, isn't what mm -hmm. they showed. It was pretty general, some, you know, and honestly, it's a little bit of an uh, uneasy alliance. There's two things to look at coming out of these meetings. Number one, mm -hmm. the security apparatus is going to see, has China committed lethal weapons. Uh, so that's one thing. You're not going to see it on TV. And there's going to be people watching for that. And then the second thing to see is, is China going to make good on its promise to now engage Ukraine a little bit? There was talk about a call with Zelensky and Xi. I want to see if that happens. And I don't know if it will. Yeah. Do you think in all of this, I've got about 10 seconds left. Do you think that Putin has become compromised, weaker in all of this? I think absolutely. I think any time you walk into a situation where you don't know the outcome, uh, then you're in a, a difficult situation. So I think Putin is emboldened. He wants to show his country that he can win. But I don't think he can win here. Uh, and so I think as the United States, as long as we counter, and again, there can be some secret collaboration that goes on here with us and the Chinese. It's not zero sum. We actually have some shared interests. Uh, so wow. I don't think Putin will come out stronger from all of this. Yeah, it's good insight. Adam Bowler, thank you for your time, sir. Always a pleasure.